guys, welcome to today's vlog. So while I'm doing my hair, I thought I could introduce the vlog and do a little update. So today is Wednesday, October 2nd, which is so crazy. I cannot believe it's already October. Um, like I said, it's Wednesday. And today is my first day back at my homeschool co-op. So I'm homeschooled, but on Wednesdays from 8.30 to 3, I go to a community setting. Um, and I'm actually only doing a half day today, so it's like almost 11 a.m. I think. And we're gonna go about lunchtime, and I'm gonna just do the afternoon portion of the class. And that is because even though like pain-wise I've recovered from surgery, let me focus, and I'm doing really good. This is the first week going back into like being out and about and doing things like going to church and going to school in the same week so when things with my health happen like recovering from surgery I start it off slow because if I don't do it that way my body will crash and burn and then I'll just be out for the count yeah so on Sunday I went to church which was really good my first time in church in over a month and it just felt so good to be back um, so I went to church Sunday and then came home for a few hours and got my eyebrows waxed and that like just completely wiped me out. Like completely. So Monday night I was supposed to go to a movie night for school because we're reading Shakespeare this year. And we were going to watch Julius Caesar before we start reading the play. But it was one of those days where I woke up and I'm like, that's not going to happen. And if I even try to push myself, I'm going to be up for like the next week, week and a half. So that's, so I skipped out, which made me bummed because I was excited to see my friends that I haven't seen in a while. Um, but it is what it is. So I don't know what I want to do with my hair. This is like my first time actually doing my hair and I'm really happy. Because you know Haley is back to herself when she does her own hair and doesn't need help. Um, but that's kind of the update. So yeah, so I'm doing a half day today. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys up in a bit. Hi guys, sorry for this weird lighting. But it is what it is. So I've actually been home for quite a while. It's now like almost 8.30. I'm sorry guys, I just completely forgot to vlog, but to recap, we got home and I felt really tired, shocker, I know, and then I relaxed for a little bit, I had to re-upload a video, so I did that this evening, we ate dinner, well before dinner my mom, yeah, my mom accessed me before dinner, my albumin already finished which is a good thing so now i am on neck i don't like this angle this is the angle i like better i'm not gonna lie pretty tired um i've just been dealing with a lot of social anxiety today it's just like since i had surgery and since i had to well basically i had to be home for a while because I was not going to push my body. Um, I just so socially regressed, if that makes any sense. Like, I went back a little. So now it's like building up that socialization endurance, if that makes any sense. Like, it's nothing to do with anybody I know or anything. It's just to do with anxiety. But it's just, it's rough. Yeah, so I've just been hanging out. I've been watching some phones. Oh, and an update on service dog so the place we applied i got super excited because the waiting list wasn't that wasn't terribly long and i got very excited and we missed well we didn't misunderstand we just didn't realize how much money it was we thought it was a certain amount but it's actually going to be more so that place isn't financially feasible so now i we're gonna, I don't know. It's like wherever God leads us to go, we'll go. But I'm still like looking at rescues. I'm looking at either, because it's been really hard to find standard poodles up for adoption. 
Um, I mean, there's plenty of small, adorable ones, but because I want a mobility service dog, it needs to be a certain like weight and size. So I'm looking at a Labrador Retriever. I have to do more research on that, and then or a Golden Retriever. So please, if you have trained owner trains a service dog, if you have any experience with it at all, even if you didn't train the dog yourself, please leave comments because I want all the knowledge I can get. Um, but I'm just going to resume watching my show on Amazon Prime and just chill out tonight. Guys, this lighting is driving me crazy, but whatever, nobody cares in the grand scheme of life. So, I am going to be ending the vlog, obviously, and I'm going to be deaccessing at the same time. So, kind of a little update since the last clip of this vlog, because it has been a while since I vlogged this vlog. Um, I believe I left you out. We actually, that we found out that it was going to be way too expensive for the organization we started moving forward with, and like, we really moved forward with it. Um, so, that was a no. So, actually, this past Tuesday, we went to the animal shelter because I've been looking on Pet Finder. I've been looking on Adopt a Pet. What's the other one? I don't remember the other one, but those are the two main ones I've been looking at. And I'm looking for either Golden Retriever or a Lab. And so there was this lab with this boy and he just, he seemed super cute. And so we went to the animal shelter to see him. And once we went to the play area, it became apparent that he was very toy aggressive. And I'm not just talking about puppy excited about toys because like I 100% like know Labs are in the puppy phase for a while, and any dog that's excited about toys, I mean, like, come on. Like, I completely understand that, but when I'm looking for service dog prospects, and even though the shelter said that's something that they, we could definitely correct with training, um, the dog actually bit my mom because she had a toy and was playing with him, and it wasn't an accident. He did it. Luckily, it didn't go deep. Um, so it was kind of just like, the right vibe wasn't there. So we ended up not getting him. We really hope that he gets, goes to a really loving family. Um, but he was in the dark rest and that's okay. And I didn't get my hopes up because I have like a gut feeling it wouldn't work out. Um, so that's kind of how it worked out. So that's where I am so far. I'm still searching for a dog and... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any questions or comments or advice, leave it down in the comment section below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.